hello all welcome back to my channel i hope you're really really well um i'm actually starting this vlog towards the end of the day it's about three o'clock right now but i have a i have had a day of baking ben has been playing with the dogs he's behind me on the sofa Happy day, just chilling it's a saturday today um but i got into my head a recipe the other day when i had insomnia um and insomnia is just one of those things you deal with when you are pregnant um, and I wanted to make a black forest gatto with meringue in the middle. So today I decided to make it, but I had so much meringue mixture left over that I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with it? I can't make loads and loads of meringue. So I ended up making brownies. So <laughs> we have a massive black forest gatto and brownies to do. I haven't yet compiled them. I've actually just whisked the double cream. So I'm going to start to put the cake together now. So I thought it would be a good time to start the vlog and I will show you what I'm doing. Today I'm wearing a new dress. Excuse the mess of the room behind me. Uh, this dress is from Shein and I think it's only about £20. So I'll link it down below. In this video I'm actually going to do a big Shein haul because I have so many new pieces and i'm actually really impressed with the brand um and the quality it's somewhere i've bought things from before and i feel like if you're a little bit careful and you really look at the item and look at the reviews and stuff then you can find some really really good pieces so this dress is one of them it's not maternity at all it's as i said only 20 pounds it's got a nice little like waistband here where can i put you if i put you there you're going to be in the background, Ben. He's eating the blanket. Why, Why is he eating the blanket? Before? He's licking it because I gave him some cream. cream so it's literally just like a beautiful time. bat wing blue dress. Perfect with a little bit of a pregnancy bump. Um, and I'm actually wearing the most ugly shoes I own. But they are perfect for just throwing on, walking around the house, or if I need to pop out and do some gardening or whatever. So... Yeah, I'm going to go back next door now and carry on with the food. But first of all, I need to put my apron on because I really don't want to be getting anything on this dress. You alright, Peppy? What are you doing? <laughs> they had a nice time playing. They had a very fun time playing. Happy to stop. Aww. Have you, hey? Did you both have a snooze in the garden? We both fell asleep. In the sunshine. <laughs> What have you done today? You went for a cycle, didn't you? Yeah, I did all uh, Quite a long one. No, uh, it was power, power hour. It was about 35k, so nothing oh, okay. too extreme. But nice and fun. Very nice. Sunny, trip to the beach. Beautiful. Hey, what are you doing now? Obviously being pregnant. You didn't go fair. Something I can't do is go cycling. Um, not because I'm rubbish at riding a bike, but the risk of falling off. Um, Alexa off, just so I don't get the copyright. Um, basically, your balance is affected when you're pregnant and you are more likely to fall over and therefore cause injuries. It's just not worth even trying. Um, right, I need to go and get the cake stand, so I'm gonna go do that. I've whipped up my cream, I have my tinned cherries. I've already, this doesn't look very nice, but I have already, um, I made a syrup using the uh, juice from the tin cherries and some sugar and then I have done that all over the cake so that it absorbs that and so that they become really really beautiful and moist. So those are my two cake layers and then I have my meringue layer here which actually isn't broken, it's one whole piece which is great. So this is all going to get compiled into one big cake. Ooh, that is so sticky. <laughs> Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heartstrings are pulling 
like the time. Okay, so excuse the mess behind, but this is the finished Black Forest Ghetto Meringue Cake. So I've just topped it off with some fresh mint from the garden. Very, very happy with this. So I'm going to take it out now and get some photos for the blog because I think I'm going to do a blog post on this if I can remember exactly the ingredients that I used. Um, and then yeah, I will put you outside so you can see the photos we take. I've also used my new tablecloth from Shein, so I'll show you that too. And here we go, here is our little afternoon tea set up. Super cute. And the match that drew a spark was a single stolen kiss. And if that ain't love, I don't know what it is. I've kept my feelings grounded And gone without all kip within By these high walls I've been surrounded I think just, I think just slice it and then that won't get you slice it Walls to her eyes only paper thin so we're on way down. Absolutely <laughs> <It's a long laughs> wedge. This is going to be a big spot. My heart strings mm -hmm. are okay, pulling go, 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 go. like the turning of the tide. Oh. And the match that drew the spark was a single stolen kiss. And if that ain't love. out very very well I'm really pleased with it and it tastes amazing I've had some already if I did it again I think I would just have a little bit more cream in it that's my only the only change I would make okay here are the brownies that I made using the leftover leftover meringue mix I wouldn't say they're the best it was definitely an experiment they're cranberry and almond they're a bit burnt around the edges and they're a bit overcooked annoyingly i should have gone with my gut and just taken them out of the oven at half an hour but i didn't and uh, yeah i'm not i'm not happy with them but you know i used up leftovers and they will definitely get eaten it has been a little while since i last picked up the camera i think i last left you with the black forest ghetto cake that i had made um so I wanted to do a quick Shein haul, well not a quick one, but I got a few pieces from Shein and I wanted to show them to you guys. Um, I have worked with Shein in the past, they've gifted me things in the past, um, but I feel like it's quite, it's one of those companies where it's like quite touch and go and you never quite know what you're getting. So I think it's really, really useful to share the pieces that I've got. I'm actually wearing one now. This is, I think, one of my favorites. I just love it. It's got a, it's like a creamy kind of fabric um, off the shoulder. What would you say? Square neck um, and it's kind of pleated here and it's perfect, perfect with a pregnancy bump. But actually I wanted to say all the pieces that I've bought, not one of them are maternity. They are all general collection. Um, and what I really want to do during this pregnancy is buy things that I'm going to be able to wear again and again, whether or not I'm pregnant. Because I think that's really important. And I think also, perhaps sometimes within the blogging industry and within um, other blogs, uh, blogs and videos and things like that, I personally feel like sometimes I'm made to feel a bit guilty when I buy from the cheaper shops like Shein or Primark, because everyone says that the more expensive it is the longer it'll last therefore it's more sustainable and I completely understand that moving on what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't feel bad for being able to afford what's in your budget um, and a lot of people can't afford to spend a hundred pounds on one dress I personally would much rather spend a hundred pounds on five dresses and get the same amount of wear out of them but I don't throw things away every season, I rewear them and rewear them. 
Anyway, let's get on to the clothes because I know that's what you want to see. So I thought I would style up this dress. I'm going to show you it in the mirror in a second. Um, and what I thought I would do is I'll style up each of the pieces. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, seven, eight pieces, including this one um, to show you. But I think you're going to really, really like them. So they're all spring items. And yeah, they're really gorgeous. So you'll all, you've already seen one of them in um, previously when I'm talking about the Black Forest Ghetto, I'm wearing the blue dress, but I'm gonna style it up for you again, just so you can see it. Okay, so this is obviously the first dress I'm gonna show you. And yes, my belly is growing by the day. Um, this dress is honestly perfect. What I really like about it is you can actually wear a bra with it. I mean, I know you can slightly see my straps here, but if you had a smaller bra, you could really, really get away with it. Obviously, this is going to look fabulous without a bump. Um, on the website, I'll put the picture here at the side of what the model looked like wearing it. Because that's what sold it to me. It's got lovely little frilly sleeves, if it wants to focus for you. There you go. And this cute little, like, red blue and beige pattern on the cream fabric. The lining stops, I don't know if you can see it, the lining stops here, but the fabric doesn't make that a problem, I don't think. So I've just literally paired it with a pair of red mules, um, and I'm wearing some red tassel earrings. Oops, gonna fall over. <laughs> um, yeah, red tassel earrings, and then I've got my heart sunglasses, which I love, um, and I just think they make any outfit look really, really fun, so, yeah, that is the first look, which I've been wearing so much recently. I'll insert a few of the pictures of me wearing it. I actually posted one yesterday on my Instagram. Okay, this is the second dress to show you. So, it is actually very similar to the first one. Um, I think on the website this is how the arms are styled, but I actually personally think it looks quite frumpy on me. So, I think it looks better off the shoulder and I actually wore this dress to Easter at my parents house um, and I definitely wore the yellow hairband I think I wore different earrings um, but I thought I would put this together for now again it's not a pregnancy dress but it is great for pregnancy it has lining that comes down to here um, and I just thought it was a lovely little style nice little spring summer dress Again, I've paired it with some mules, this time a green pair. And the fabric of this, so yeah, as you can see, it's like a lilac colour with green and yellow and white embroidered, embroidered flowers even. Um, so I thought this would be really, really lovely and quite versatile in terms of colours. Is it going to focus? This camera is having real trouble focusing at the moment. Um, I thought it would be really versatile in terms of other colours to style with it. I probably could put a belt on, but to be honest, because of this gathering, I don't really need to. Obviously, from the side, my big baby bump. But, yeah, as I said, I think this dress would look lovely, whether or not you're pregnant. Um, but for me now, it's perfect in pregnancy. Really, really comfortable, lightweight, flowy and airy, which is exactly what you want with all those pregnancy heat hormones as the weather is so changeable in spring in the uk um i wanted a few knit dresses so i got this kind of oatmeal beige color dress and again not maternity but i thought would look quite good with a bump so this is what it looks like from the side and i think i was right so I styled this up slightly differently the other day, but I've just paired it with some gold ASOS wedges. I've not ironed this, by the way. Um, it's got a lovely, like, pleated fabric on the bottom, which I think is really, really flattering. And obviously comes up into a v-neck at the top. It's buttoned all the way down as well for ease, and I've just stuck this gold belt with it. A pair of gold earrings, and I think the gold shoes finish it off nicely, but I have also worn it with my like espadrille white sandals which I think looks nice too um and yeah I'll show you without the belt as well look that there Peppy is asleep on the bed by the way you quite happy there darling quite happy there 
every time I get changed and put on one of these outfits, she thinks it's time to go downstairs. So leaps up. Um, but yeah, this is what it's like. It did actually come with a belt, but I'm not a fan of the belt at all. So I haven't worn it with it. But yeah, I think it's just quite a flattering shape and style. And I think it would look lovely on a non-pregnant body as well but yeah the buttons going all the way down are quite a nice they're actually not bad quality for Shein either um nice kind of tortoiseshell effect color and I think yeah they work really really well on it nice little knit I've actually worn this quite a few times and I think I could get away with it in trainers as well um just if I didn't want to be so dressed up and I wanted to be a little bit comfier but yeah, super flattering and super comfy and just a really, really easy to wear spring piece. Okay, this one I've not spent very long styling at all because I just feel like it doesn't really do anything for me. I think I need a proper strapless bra to hoik these up. I think if I had a proper strapless bra it would look a little bit better, but yeah, obviously in pregnancy that's just not happening at the moment. So then it would look a bit like that and it would be more flattering. But I'm just not, I feel like it's, I feel like it's a bit too young. Um, oh God, with the boobs, it looks horrific. Ignore what's happening across here. Um, but what sold me on it is I really, really liked the frills um, and I liked the arms and I just thought it would be, again, quite flattering with a bump. Obviously we can see that I'm not sure in hindsight it is terribly flattering but I thought it would be a lovely colour. I don't really own anything in this colour. And actually, I don't know what the fabric is, but it feels lovely on the skin. And you can see it's kind of almost like a um, checked sort of pattern. Lovely, lovely light green. Yeah, lovely, lovely light green. But I just, yeah, I don't think, I don't think this is doing anything for me. I think the shearing comes down too low on the bump. Um, and so if I pulled it up, then you've got this gathering, which again, I'm not sure is too flattering. Lengthwise, I like the length. I think that's really cute. And with a nice pair of wedges, I thought it'd be quite sweet, but I'm not sold on it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, um, because I am going to be sending a load of this back. So yeah, I'm just not sure this one really makes the cut. I feel like it makes me look a bit frumpy, maybe. Let me know what you think. Right, this was the dress that prompted the entire haul. Um, I have whipped off the bra, so excuse what's happening around the boob area. So, I don't know if you'll have seen, but New Look launched a pink gingham dress just before Easter, I think, and it sold out so fast. It was absolutely gorgeous, and so many people wanted it. Um, I obviously missed out on that, so I googled pink gingham dress and this came up. So this is the Shein version. I have a few issues with this dress. I have to say, putting it on again, now I've got a little bit of a tan. I do like it, but my issues are like this. So, the arm is connected by like the tiniest little bit, so it's not actually properly attached to the dress. Normally with dresses like this, you expect them to be a little bit more attached um so i'm not massively keen on that because i feel like it pulls the whole dress down um to be honest that's really my main concern with it from the side it's not too bad this one is actually a bit too big for me across the back um and ben said that the gathering around my arm kind of squeezed it a bit and wasn't the most flattering although in this light it actually looks okay but yeah apart from that i do think it is a lovely 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 dress but again being pregnant and not wearing a bra or being strapless bras it's just a bit too difficult at the moment so yeah i think this one sadly is going to have to go back as well and my hunt for the perfect pink gingham dress is still on i know there is a brand called daily sleeper and for anyone interested i'll link that down below but they are a bit more expensive but yeah i do love this dress but sadly i just don't think it's gonna work for me i personally love this dress <clears throat> i think this is one of my favorite dresses out of the whole haul um i've just paired it with a little 
I think you can see like embellished belt. This is barely fitting me now, this belt. It's quite difficult to get on. Um, but yeah, I just feel, I'm gonna use the word sexy. I feel quite sexy in this dress. And I feel like it's quite hard to feel sexy during pregnancy. So um, again, I saw this on the website and I just thought it looked so nice on the model. And I thought, you know what, with a bump, I feel like it might look quite good. So, yeah, I love the crossover. That's quite flattering for me. It kind of makes my boobs look a little bit smaller. The waist detailing as well is kind of where I need it. Um, and because of the ribbed fabric, it works perfectly with a bump. Um, and again, it's a knitted dress, but it's like a light knit. So it's not too heavy and it's perfect for spring. Um, and it's great just for like the weather now. So I've also got on some little pearl earrings i think you can see maybe <laughs> there we go um and i've also got on a pair of blue heels there you go um but yeah i just thought this looked lovely with a bump again the seam down here is quite flattering and the bat wings again if you have any kind of concerns or queries about your upper arms this dress is perfect it just kind of glazes over it actually glazes over all the bits that women generally wouldn't feel comfortable about, which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, really pleased with this one. And I love the color as well. I think it's quite hard to find things that are true blue and obviously having blue eyes. If I wear blue on my um, body, then it picks up the blue in my eyes and it kind of reflects that color. So it's quite flattering for me. Um, and yeah, again, I do, this one actually didn't come with a belt, but I think it's fine with one and it's fine without. I'll take the belt off now so you can see what it looks like without. I thought I might have been trapped in that belt for a second, but I'm okay, I'm out. Um, yeah, so this is it without the belt. Obviously, on the picture on the model, um, she wasn't pregnant, surprisingly. So yeah, it looked lovely, but I think you can get an idea of what it looks like, like that. Um, if you're not pregnant, but yeah, just another really great staple dress for the wardrobe. And I think, again, this can be dressed up, dressed down. It can be smart. It can be casual. Um, I just thought it was really, really versatile. And yeah, I love it. It has the same V. I haven't worked out which is the back and which is the front because it has the same V at the back, which I think you can see. Um, but yeah, works perfectly either way, and I love it with these blue heels too. I have a feeling this is my most worn piece from this haul so far, and I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest. This dress, if you can believe it, costs about £10, um, which is obscene. Um, I have styled it. It looks very different on compared to what it looked like on the model, which I'll put here. Um, but I loved this colour for spring, I thought it was lovely, I knew I had like a lilac-y belt and I thought that would look really, really good with it. The arms on the website looked a bit more ballooned, but that's fine, I don't mind them like this. Nice gathered wrist, so you're not kind of, I don't know, if you're washing up or something, you're not getting your, um, sleeves and everything. Nice high neck as well to keep you warm. And I found this detail quite flattering as well. So it kind of has like a ribbed section in the middle and it's smoothed down the sides. So that looks lovely with a baby bump. I've paired it with, these shoes are very old ASOS, like tapestry style shoes. And I love them and I've had them for such a long time. And I thought I would pull out the lilac in them with the belt that I'm wearing. But again, they just look lovely with the yellow. I've not actually worn this version of the outfit out yet. Sorry, I go very dark like that, don't I? Um, there we go. I've not worn this version of the outfit out yet. I think I've worn it, how have I worn it? Maybe with trainers um, and a pink coat over the top. You'll pro probably have seen my pink knit Zara coat, um, which I wear a lot. But yeah, I really, I think this is such a great piece. And for £10, I just thought it was such a bargain. Um, you can see the quality isn't great. For instance, I think I might need to steam this around the neckline or something because it has, this is after a few washes. So it has kind of gathered a little bit, but I think with a steam that should kind of 
pull it all out and be fine again there's a few creases along the front but yeah overall I love the color of this think it's super flattering um and it's just a super comfy piece as well i just think you can't do wrong if it's comfy and looks nice as well so yeah that is that one guys the very last piece i'm gonna have to show you on the hanger because quite frankly it doesn't fit i cannot for the life of me get this around my waist it just won't do up i think it would work if i wasn't pregnant but I don't want to risk it and keep it that long. Um, Shein are always renewing their things and they always have things that are quite similar. So I'm hoping later on down the line I'll be able to find something similar. But I fell in love with this on the website and on the model. And in person it is just as stunning. I did get Ben to help me put it on the other day. Um, but the zip wouldn't go about that far. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think also all the sizes by the way... I've been wearing a size medium or small in everything, just depending on the, so this is a medium, just depending on the fit of the dress. For instance, if it's like this dress, I think I've got it in a small. Um, let's just check actually while I'm saying that. Uh, oh no, size mediums. But for instance, actually the dress I'm wearing here is a size small because I knew it looked quite oversized on the model. so. I knew to size down whereas this one yeah I sized up and got a medium it is just the most stunning dress it's got a square neckline here kind of puff balloon sleeves this fabric is so pretty it's a yellow kind of almost gingham fabric and it's fully lined underneath as well in a yellow like you can see it there it's just the prettiest spring dress I just imagine this amongst all the daffodils would just look so beautiful but yeah sadly it's not fitting me so it's going to have to go back but i highly recommend this one the quality is just beautiful and i think if you had a smart occasion as well if you were going to a wedding or something i think this would look absolutely stunning i'll show you the back so very very simple and then it just has a zip down this side um but yeah really really impressed with the quality the cut, the colour and the fabric is lovely too. Right guys, I think I might end the vlog there. Um, I'm quite it's tiring trying on all these clothes. So I think I'm going to go make myself some lunch. Um, it's Sunday today so I'm getting this video live on the day I film it. I'm very behind with all my videos. It's been lovely weather in the UK this week and I've just wanted to be outside and not picking up the camera. So apologies for that. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave your comments down below and let me know which of the dresses you like best. Let me know if you agree with me on the ones that I'm going to send back and the ones that I'm going to keep. Um, and yeah, I will see you next Sunday for another video. Take care. Bye. Then ain't love.